Hi, it's Pekka from Rock Bullet and welcome to collect and plant some trees. I am a machine feeder, but I am also a forester. We had last winter in our forest, clear cut. We did take down about 4 hectares of the forest. It was old forest, it wasn't growing anymore, so it was better to give room for the new trees. So uh, at the moment I'm going to collect those trees and we will plant those to our yard. It has been over here in Finland super hot summer. Now we are leaving 2021, beginning of the June. There was an excavator preparing area for the planting. And at the moment I will take the plants and then I will push those to ground. Yeah, it will be hot for me. I would prefer not to have these kind of temperatures, but I will have a huge amount of the water and I hope I will enjoy about the weekend. I have at the moment 6000 trees in my truck. It's a heavy truck. So there is 220 spruces in every box. And so there is several boxes over here. These are actually, these come from the other town called Christina town, Christina Kaupunki from the western coast and uh, actually the seed is from the, uh, Sweden so this is international <laughs> and like that uh, that kind of business and yeah uh, these are now two years old so first summer those were most like in July they did plant these and those did go to the uh, greenhouse oh. and then after that those went to like outside and they did spend last winter outside in the field and after that they did pack these to the cardboard boxes. And now I did collect these and I will head to our forest. I did come over here to our forest. So over here we actually have this kind of new very short forest road. We will continue that over there. I did unload some spruces over here because I will come today and plant those over there to that area. That is, I think, the nastiest area over here. So I will start from the hardest, slowest and the hardest, and later with my family I will make the easier ones. I think that is the fair share. So the plants are at the moment happily over there waiting in the sh shade. I think that is kind of high road for the rock bullet. There is 2,860 spruces in one load. I think in the future there will be three or four trees. Yeah, I will now take those to our forest. And most likely tomorrow or day after that my family will plant those. So, at the moment I have huge amount of the trees in our forest. Over here is the like, the, I think this is the easiest area over here to plant. So I did actually plant that my family will come over here because it's so much nicer than the swamp over there. Rock bullet is super handy tool also when you have to bring something to the forest. Like fertilities and plants and other stuff or clearing saw. So I did just drive over here with rock bullet. And now I have plants closer to the location where we will plant those. Nice. Now the last trees are over here. This actually this area where we are at the moment this is protected because it's like uh, in Finland even we produce insane amount of the uh, wood material. We also protect our forest. So this area, for example, over here is because of this type, it's protected. I cannot cut this down and actually I would even like to do that because uh, nature loves these kind of spots over here. And even like I'm a forester, I still actually like about forest. I'm not, I don't hate nature, I love nature. Even I do gear cutting and all the other stuff. Yeah, so next we like I will actually eat something and then we go actually to plant the trees over there. 
Over here we have mosquitoes, but where I will be over there in the open area, it's too hot for those, so at least something good for the heat. First planting day is over. I did actually plant five boxes equals to 1100 plants. I had today like half day because I, I didn't actually have like the morning I did start at 3 o'clock or something like that actually planting so tomorrow I will have longer day I will start from this area I did leave my potiputki over there but to but to be, to be honest over here is the excavator driver was great so the contractor so we have a new ditch and also like these places where I can plant the trees this was a really difficult location for that because there is so much all the dirt all over. This looks actually nasty. This is not the normal. We go, we go to other side which which looks way nicer. This was awful before we did actually make the gear cut. So this is like no changes in that way. It's at the moment. It's Thursday. It's uh, 11 o'clock at morning. I have planted this far, so I did actually start yesterday at 3 p.m. planting and this far I have planted 8 boxes. In every box there is 220 plants, so it's about 1700. So most likely in 24 hour period I will go over 2000 plants. And it's okay, I'm working. But it's not bad. At the moment I'm walking over here in the forest. I have this kind of scoop and I will and I'm carrying from water to our plants. It's it's super hot over here at the moment. My plan is also I actually I don't have sun lotion or sunscreen or how you want to call it. I, for some reason, we don't have that in our cottage and I was feeling that my ears are burning at the moment already so I decided that I will go to the town and I will purchase some sun lotion just to make my life better but hey, yeah, why I'm carrying access to water is that these plants those are over here in the hot day so to avoid that those don't uh, try. I'm carrying over here water for the inside the boxes. These are still over here in the shade. And I'm like pouring water over there to make our plants happy. Uh, I have also like there is a ditch over there where I'm at the moment planting. And there is usually some water in the nature over here, so I also dip the plants to the water before I place those to my plant holder. Then it's uh, then it's uh, easier. In, well, no, it's better for the plants that those are like moist and wet. And then I place those to the ground. I put some soil over the like the bottom part of the plant and then those don't those have like the starting water yeah water is super important for the plants yeah and also like my tactic how I actually plant is that I I take like the huge amount of the plants then I uh, uh, plant kind of fast to the back part of the area and then I start to like plant every location and then like after the last plant uh, from the, my holder I leave my potiputki over there and then uh, I take come back I take full load of the plants and do I have potiputki over there ready? I don't actually have to look anymore 
where the spot is like where to start. I can just start. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, because the plants will be over there 50 to 60 years. And also, like in that way, it's, I will leave the scoop over here because I will make that again this evening. So it's important that I don't like do I'm lazy. I would not like give water for the plants. And after that, next 50 years, we would be suffering about bad trees. Yeah. So, but next I will actually go to the uh, local shop. I will purchase some sun lotion and ice cream. I really love ice cream. That is like the. I think the Finnish national sport sport is eating ice cream. We. I think we eat. We drink most coffee per capita, and we also actually eat most ice cream per capita. Even we have winter, but during summertime we are just eating ice cream. There is first clouds in the sky. Even actually, it's just it's not a metaphor. That was just like the reality. That is actually nice because it has been insanely hot all the time over here. Uh, I don't so much care about me. I can drink water. I care more about my plants. Yeah, but at the moment my feeling is super good. This is like the swamp cut. This is, uh, I think I will do that with that uh, plant box. And then I can move to other section. Uh, this is the hardest one we have over here. And my plan is to have like the easy part over here for my family. So my kids will plant over there. We will pay them money. And then later when we walk to the over there, they can see all the time their plants. And it has to be also easy one. Because I don't want to give them like the feeling that forestry is not nice, it's hard, it's uh, hot and painful. I prefer to give them like positive feeling about forestry. Of course, in some day they can choose what they want to do. It's, <laughs> it's their life. So I don't actually care about that so much, but uh, anyway, they don't need to have like suffering summers from the childhood with forestry. Yeah, I will next go over there, and I hope that box will be enough, and then I can go to the other section. Swamp cut officially done. Yeah, so I did start this morning from the opposite corner. I have like gone rotating this around, and now this swamp cut is done. I feel pretty great. At the, at the moment, actually, my ears are, eyes are like painful. Do they sweat all the time coming over there with sun lotion? But yeah, I feel great at the moment. This is fun. Uh, even I'm exhausted. This is fun. This is either like running a marathon. It's like uh, you just want to test. Can you do it? And after you can do it great feeling yeah uh, it's uh, almost 6 p.m. I have to like I told I have to pick up my family from the train station so I think I'm going to call this a day so I will continue this wonderful job tomorrow morning so third day second morning I am at the moment over here in our crow I did check that from the dictionary so the crow that's why it's 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 actually nice temperature over here inside under these leaves so this is nice spot i did bring yesterday evening some water for my plants over here next i will go over there i will always take like one box and like uh then one area one area one area one area until it's again done yep let's start up gong gong machine I did bring over here my plant for the perfect row model. So over here we have stump. It's a spruce stump. It's about 70 years old. 
and over here we have two years old spruce. Yeah, someday she will be the same size. I think this is one of our best uh, planting sites. Too. There is the ground is super good. There is a it's a grove, and also like sun is shining over here. So I assume that over here in this spot we will have pretty fast, nice forest. So I have now two boxes for this morning equals to 440 plants. This is actually this is for me it's this is simple nice ground to plant. It's I I actually love this. I I don't know I don't know how many times I have told that but I, I love this. This also we have over here also in this area we have ditches. Okay this is the name for this area is now grow cut. So, but anyway, over here we have also like recently planted spruces from 2012, and you can actually see the uh, height difference between the areas. It has been too wet, so now we made the ditches over there, and it will get more dry, and it will increase the uh, road also in that area. So, money in the ditches is well spent money. Hi. So I did just, it's uh, 11 a.m. at the moment and I did just plant three boxes equals to 660. I think at the moment we are over 14. So over half has been planted and still feeling pretty good. And like, it's not, uh, planting is not competition. It's not about who is the fastest. It's about quality. So, so it's about who makes the best forest. So always you have to look that every plant has good spot to grow up and then in the future you will have good forest. So there is no time, don't do faster than you can do it. First helper is over there, or actually she's not helper because it's my wife who actually, we own this forest together so it's She's working in her forest. Yeah, it's our kids are at the moment over there in the yard. And how we actually work is that, like for example, my uh, potiput is over there. She's working over there. So we both have like independent areas. Like there's the ditch divides now our area. I stay in the other side of the ditch. She's in the other side. So we can work together more efficiently, that we don't have to actually all the time look that Hey, I was thinking to place plant over here, but there is at the moment somebody over here. Yeah, I will go to make again that nice noise. So my family did arrive over here, so life is now a little more simple. I am more with the kids at the moment and my wife is over there planting. I was actually just over here with my kids. We had to like deal with them about. So both did plant 50 seedlings over there. Uh, we had deal. Uh, it, it was actually one euro per unit, so it was pretty high money. So they were both interested about working. I think the money is actually pretty good motivator. Even in the reality, in the future someday, they will most likely own this forest. They will most likely cut this down. It's actually before their retirement. So this might be their retirement fund. So we were actually paying for them that they will get them trees someday. Yeah. Yeah, actually it would be otherwise unfair. So I think you should always pay. What they have to do, you have to pay. That is pretty simple life in that way. So now it's Saturday, still sunny. Uh, this even, evening, it, it should be raining, that is pretty good, because this is our last planting day now. And we have actually at the moment, we have, I don't know what is that is English, because I don't know actually, I have to check, but it's like common our work, but it's like, we call it Talakot, which is that people come from the village, or actually my wife, par, wife's parents came over here to help. And the talco system is like that when somebody has something to work, people just come free over there, you don't have to pay them anything and they work for you. 
And then other day when they have something that they have to plant, we usually go over there to help. So everybody get their job done easier. I th that is super traditional over here in Finland. So in the old days when somebody had to make like log house, there was all village working and then one family got fa house. And then some other day uh, they, they went to help others and that's why uh, without money everybody got like fast day homes and it was pretty, uh, it's, it is good system. I really actually love to go to Talkot. And that is actually nowadays it's more when many people are moving around. So like when you move from flat to other and you need somebody to carry your furniture. Then there is like people coming to your friends come to help you. And that is actually a nice day. You are like with your friends together and you carry stuff. Yeah, you are we are simple people over here, so we love to do simple simple stuff. Yeah, my kids were also like doing the second part of their job. Now job is done and like my younger kid was dreaming about one Lego a Lego box. So now we now he has money for that and he can purchase that with his working money. That is good. So that is like because for us forestry is also about money. It's of course it's about nature, but it's also about the money. So it's very good for the kids that they also learn that yeah when you work in the forest you get money. Yeah. I will now pick up some plants and I will also continue planting. So I will have fun again. All the fun things end at some day. So at the moment I'm half sad, I'm half happy about that. We did actually plant all those 6000 seedlings. It was about, yeah, I had 27 boxes of those and for some reason I was lucky to have correct amount. If I would have had 26 boxes that wouldn't have been enough and 28 would have been too much. So I have about half box with the last this kind of like excavator part and then I did walk over there to other part and then just like drop to the drop the rest of the spruces to the locations that haven't been uh, prepared with ex excavator, but I think needs seedlings. Yeah, this was fun. I hope you did like the video. If you did like the video, please give thumb up. And if you want to see more forestry and machine related videos, please press subscribe. So we will see in next video. Thanks a lot and bye.